Hey punks, welcome back to University of Radlands. We have an advanced theory video for you today and it's going to be over the camp, mercenary camp. A lot to say about this one, so let's get started on it. It is a camp that will give you zero cards at the beginning of the game. And then for two water, you can activate its ability. And that ability is to destroy one of the opponent's cards of their choice unless they can discard two cards, but not the water silo. So let's break this down. So when you pay to use this card for two water, your opponent then has a couple of decisions they can choose from. The first is they destroy any other card. So not just damage, not turning the card sideways. It is a complete destroy. So if it's a camp, it's going to be destroyed. If it's a person that's on the field, they go right to the discard. Now, it says opponent's cards, but that does not include any of their events. So if your opponent's making this decision, they can't target their events as once those are played, they're in the event track and they're not really on or, or a part of the field. So when making this decision to destroy something, it's either camp cards or people cards or punks that are in play on the field. Uh, the other option they can choose from is if they have at least two cards in their hand, uh, not including the water silo, they can't discard this. It has to be cards with the punk back. If they don't want to, if they don't want to destroy anything, they can decide to discard uh, two cards into the discard pile. So I'd say the strategy with this card is if you have this as one of your three camps, is probably to uh, spam it early uh, whenever your opponent doesn't have as much on the field. Uh, they probably aren't going to want to uh, discard as much just because they probably have cards they want to play. And you might get them to be able to destroy one of their camps early on. And if they can't figure out how to destroy this or play against this, then you might uh, be able to uh, destroy all their camps in three, four, maybe five turns. Uh, so that's probably the main strategy for this is to uh, spam it early and probably often in the early game. Now, why I say that is there's some kind of maybe some strategies against it. Um, one of the drawbacks to this card is it's a very expensive ability. You're using two thirds of your turn now, to destroy something, if you destroy a camp, that's probably pretty good value. Um, if your opponent has a punk on the field, uh, that probably doesn't feel quite as good than deciding to destroy a punk for two water. Or if they also have um, a few people on the field, they could destroy, uh, decide to destroy a person. So that's maybe the drawback to mercenary camp is it can be pretty expensive and Earlier on in the game, if you're using this a lot, then you only have one water to use for other people's actions or other camps' actions or to play other people. So you're not going to have as much uh, protection on the board uh, for your other camps or your other people. Now, a strategy against this is probably to target this specific camp early. It's a pretty powerful camp, which is why you get zero cards to start the game. And the other strategy against this card is to then, you know, spam people and punks onto the board. As I mentioned before, it probably doesn't feel as good if you're deciding to use this and then your opponent's like, well, I'm just going to destroy this punk or I'm just going to destroy this rescue team instead of a camp card. Uh, so that, that would be the strategies kind of for and against mercenary camp. Uh, let me know what you think. I've been reading in some uh, forums on like BGG or uh, Facebook or Reddit, uh, Radlands groups, that uh, some people, when they're picking camps, they just completely uh, remove this card from, from the, the deck. They don't even shuffle it in. They find it to be so overpowered. Uh, so they decide to not even play with it or play against it. Now, what I would say to that is you're never going to learn how to play with or against the card if you don't use it. So you're, you're never going to find the strategy against it uh, not playing the card. So let me know your thoughts on Mercenary Camp. Uh, leave those comments down below. And if there are any other 
uh, people, events, or camps that you'd like me to discuss in a future video, also, please let me know that down below. And as always, stay thirsty, punks.